Welcome to this short instruction video. Press on the center power button for one second to switch on the unit. To reach the submenu, short press on the menu button followed by the gear icon. Select the studio address corresponding with the address set on your Broncolor flash device and press select. The RFS3 then syncs with the flash unit. On the home screen, tap on the icon beneath the bottom lighting group to add further groups. Select the specific lamp addresses and go back to the home screen. All active groups now appear in the list. The plus and minus at the bottom of the screen is used to change the power of all groups simultaneously. You can also long tap to adjust in full increments. Increase or decrease the flash energy in tenths by short tapping on the plus or minus next to each group. You can also use the select dial for power adjustment or menu navigation. Press to make the blue focus frame appear. Turn the select dial slowly for tenths of a step or quickly for full steps. Exit a group by pressing the dial once more. Swipe down or press the menu button to access the modeling light function. With each tap on the bulb icon, the modeling light of all active flash devices will switch on or off. Tap on the lock icon to temporarily lock the touch display. Long tap for 2 seconds to unlock the screen. Sync lets you activate or deactivate the Broncolor HS function, respectively high speed sync. With pre-sync, you can fine-tune the timing of the flash release within 10 milliseconds. With auto-off, you can make the RFS3 automatically turn off after 30, 60 or 90 minutes to save battery life. It can be recharged via USB-C. Under the display submenu, you can set the display brightness and the display standby time between 15 seconds and 3 minutes. The RFS3 currently supports nine languages. The currently installed firmware version can be found under Device Info. Finally, the RFS3 can be reset to factory settings. Switching off is again a one second press on the power button. Thank you for watching.